Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives, uh, still working on uh, Mathematics N2. So in this platform, we shall have a revision. Uh, actually, on the graphs that we're working on, uh, the algebraic graphs that is uh, working with the quadratic graph, and um, that is a parabola and a straight line, which is a linear graph. So in this case, uh, we are having a question from one of the question papers that we are having, that we're going to work on, which is on question 5, and it's uh, having 12 marks. Everything there, as you can see, that's 12 marks. So that's what you're going to see. So guys, if you're new and uh, you want to be part of the family Maison African Motives, make sure that you subscribe to my channel uh, so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from Maison African Motives. So let us quickly rush through the question that we are given. There we are given below are the graphs of f of x. Uh, that's how a graph can be given. Uh, it can give, be given in a function form like this, f of x or and another gx. So it can be y is equal to, so if there are two functions like this, we can uh, you have these graphs as f of x and another one as gx all right so that's our f of x here which is a quadratic graph okay don't worry about this equation i'll talk about it later on all right then we are given gx here which is a straight line a and b are the x intercepts of f of x we are told about a and b that is the x intercepts remember what i told you guys about the x intercepts these are on a condition where y is equal to zero in the x axis Okay, then C is the turning point of F. Okay, let's see the turning point. Shall talk about it later on. Then D is the y-intercept of both F of X. Take note here, guys. It's for both F of X and GX. And as you can see, that's D here, which is the y-intercept, a point that lies in the y-axis. We say it always in the y-axis, X is equal to x is equal to zero so these are the two conditions which are very very important to use when attempting such type of a question all right so now let's quickly rush through the question determine the following the coordinates of points a and b the coordinates all right so guys uh, given a and b we are told that this a and b are the x-intercepts of f of x so for any concept guys or for any graph that you'll be given or any function that you're given whether the format that you're given this is another format uh we we talked about this type uh, of a format last time if you still remember where we had y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c so this is another format okay which i can write in this form y is equal to uh let's just say x minus a to the exponent of 2 plus b so i'm going to talk about this later on all right so here we are given to calculate the coordinates of what point so this one does not change we know that in the x-axis y is equal to zero so this is an advantage that you're going to take no matter the type of equation f of x is the one that is representing y as you can see f of x here it was y is equal to so it can be f of x is equal to x minus a squared plus b so f of x is same as y so in place of f of x you can put y like this so we're going to put a zero because we said in the x-axis y is equal to zero so zero is equal to we equate to what we are given here x minus three squared minus four all right so as you can see we have formulated an equation which you are supposed to to solve so how can I solve such type of an equation? Okay, let's first transpose, uh, just avoid working with a negative, transpose this to the left-hand side is going to be a positive. So it's 0 plus 4, which is 4, is equal to x minus 3 squared, like this. So if 4 is equal to this bracket, it means I can just rewrite this. Isn't the same, guys? Just like x minus 3 squared is equal to 4, just like a is equal to b, b is equal to a. It's one and the same thing. All right. But now uh, there's this part that we are having, the square here. We are supposed to get rid of that square, the exponent of 2. So how do you remove this? You're going to introduce a square root on both sides like this. To remove a square, you introduce square root. Okay. So the moment you introduce a square root, which means this square is no longer there, you're going to, left, to be left with x minus 3, which is equal to... Now from your calculator, sorry for that, from your calculator, you are going to obtain 2. The calculator does not give you the sign. It's just going to give you a 2. But take note, guys, whenever you work with a square root, 
the answer is a plus or minus so you're going to have two answers the square root of any number is plus or minus okay i want you to see this minus two times minus two we obtain four two times two we obtain four so that means a square root can be plus or a minus because we're talking about a number that can multiply itself to give us a four but the calculator now does not give us this minus it only gives us a positive okay so i think you understand now transpose to find x so take note here there are two values so we are going to separate one to start with a plus so it's two minus two three to this side is going to be plus three or x is equal to we are going to take this time minus two so it's minus two if we transpose minus three to this side it's still is going to be a plus all right so therefore what are we going to have for x x will be equal to we add these two plus three that is a five or x is equal to we simplify minus two plus three which is a positive one so here we are going to obtain a positive one so these are the two possible values of x that we are obtaining but now which one is going to be the x for a and which one is going to be the x for b as we can see these numbers they are increasing from this point zero one two three four and so forth so definitely a is the one which is going to be a one b is the one which is going to carry a a five so that means now where we want the coordinates so the coordinates is supposed to be written in terms of x like this followed by y that's a coordinate a point all right so that mean that means we are going to have a coordinate like this x y like this so the point a is going to be remember i said a is going to take one because that's the one which is closer to closer to zero so it's going to be one that's the value of x x is one but what is the value of y remember we are in the x axis where y is equal to where y is equal to zero so this one is going to be one zero or b oh, so there's no need to write o we can write and b we write the point b was you are now talking of a point it's now different from a solution the value of b x is five y is zero was the value of y is the same so x is on a condition where it's five but y is zero that's what you're given there so that's uh, what we're supposed to do guys on this uh, question which was actually 5.1 so this was 5.1 so these are the stages that you're supposed to take you're solving uh, the equation when y is equal to zero because you're talking about the x-axis so you're going to obtain two possible values because you're solving a quadratic equation all right so let's see another question what we asked to calculate here the coordinates of the point d on 5.2 we need the coordinates of d so d remember d is the y-intercept where x is equal to zero so still we are going to do the same thing substitute into the equation that we are given of f of x which is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 4 like this okay so we are going to substitute in place of x because x is equal to zero in the y-axis so in place of x we are going to substitute a zero there so in place of x let's substitute a zero so which means y is going to be 0 minus 3 to the exponent of 2 minus 4 all right so sometimes you can use a calculator guys to simplify this so that you don't confuse what is happening so using your calculator you're going to find the value of y being equal to 5 so that means therefore the point d that you're talking about which a point is written in terms of x and y so we are given the value of y this time which is y in this case is 5 but what about the value of x this is on a condition that we are talking x is equal to zero so the point is going to be zero five not five zero five zero is a point which lies on the x-axis but zero five like this it lies on the on the y-axis okay so that's the condition we've got two marks for that then i'm worried about this question this is the one that i'm very very worried about especially given this type of an equation we are given them on 5.3 to determine still we are determining the following the equation of the axis of symmetry of f of x all right remember when i talked about this uh, in our previous classes uh, we talked about the axis um, of symmetry which is a condition that divides the graph into two equal parts like this and at that condition when you are given your equation as y is equal to a x squared 
plus bx plus c like this the value of x at this point remember we talked about the values of x at that point to say that x is equal to minus b over 2a from the formula of x of symmetry which as a turning point is going to be minus b over 2a then you'll be having f of what minus b over 2a remember i talked about this but now we are not given this type of an equation we are different we are given a different type of an, a, a, an equation because this one is y is equal to uh, x minus 3 squared minus 4 remember we said y or it can be f of x like this so now what am i going to do whenever you are given this type of an equation guys uh, from this type of an equation that i wrote here if you are given f of x is equal to x minus a squared plus b the value of x here you equate this bracket to zero x minus a you equate it to to zero x will be equal to you transpose minus a to this side is going to be a positive a so x is equal to a is a point is a, an equation because this one is a, is a straight line that you're talking about that is an equation of the axis of what of symmetry x is equal to a so that is what you're going to do in this case we are given x minus 3 squared so the value of x at the exit of turning point is taken from this bracket you equate this bracket to to zero like this so this is what you're supposed to note guys so which means x is equal to 3 minus 3 to this side is going to be a plus so 0 plus 3 which is 3 so that is the equation so the equation we're talking about the value of x x is equal to so this one is a direct if you understand this equation it's going to be a direct question so that's why you see that we only have uh, two marks for that we do not need to expand this equation okay then on 5.4 we need the coordinates of the point c we are now talking about the coordinates now of the point c the coordinates we are now talking about a point it's a point guys just like what we're doing here to find x and y so what are you going to do it's very simple guys since we have the value of x because we already have the value of x at the was the equation of x of symmetry is going to pass through the turning point like this so at this turning point already the value of x is equal to 3 because that's that is an equation which is dividing our graph into two equal parts just like uh what i indicated from that sketch so from this sketch here so this is the e equation that we are given x is equal to 3 so that is where the point c lies so c is lying at a point where x is equal to 3 in that line so we can take that as an advantage if c lies at a point where x is equal to 3 therefore the point c that we are talking about is going to give us remember point is given in terms of x and y and already the value of x is there which is 3 so we are going to have 3 in the value of x but what about the value of y where are we going to obtain the value of y this is where we are now coming back to the original equation that we are given we can substitute into this equation of f of x because we know that y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 4 take note like i said you can just write this as y is equal to so in place of x we are going to substitute this value of x that we are given which is 3 so it's going to be from your calculator you're going to obtain minus 4 because this one will give you a 0 there so y is going to be minus 4 so that is our point c 3 minus 4 because a point is x and y that's a point which is the coordinates the coordinate of a point c take note guys all right then the equation of the line gx okay we need the equation of the line gx okay a b a gx here okay this is our line gx this one which is a straight line as you can see this straight line it passes through d and it passes through b remember what i told you about how do you find the equation of a straight line if you have got points so you're going to take two points which are on the straight line all right which are the points that we are talking about here sorry we have got the point d the point d we talked about you said uh, this point is 0 5 if you still remember that's our point d and point b we said x is 5 this point was 5 0 if you still remember so these are the two points 
which lies on the line so if you have got two points which lie on a line which is 0 5 for this point d and 5 0 for point b these are the two points that we have guys so what are we going to do with these two points because if you've got two points you can find the equation of a straight line why because we know that the equation of a straight line is given in this form y is equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept so what we only need is the gradient and that is why we have got these two points because we know that gradient which is equal to m gradient is m remember from your formula sheet is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that is the gradient of a line so that means we can name these points this is going to be my x1 and y1 that's the first point the second point is going to carry to x2 y2 remember a point is given as x y now so one and two just represent this is the first point the second point that's that's the meaning there nothing much so y2 that's zero minus y1 which is five over x2 x2 that's five minus x1 x1 that's a zero like this so from your calculator guys you're going to obtain a minus one here because it's minus five over over five which is minus one so i have the gradient which is m so i can substitute it here y is equal to in place of this m now i can substitute minus one but guys take a look minus one x like this is the same thing as writing as just like minus x one is the same thing so this is this can be written as minus x plus c all right on finding the value of c there are two options that we had here uh, we could have just taken the point c because we have it uh, on the graph remember c represents the y-intercept and in this case the y-intercept is 5 the value of y here is 5 so you can just substitute your y-intercept which is 5 so y is equal therefore y is equal to minus x plus the y-intercept which is c which is the value of y which is 5 so you can substitute 5 so that is the equation maybe you couldn't see that that's your y-intercept what are you going to do you're going to substitute any one of these points okay you are going to find the value of c as a positive 5 just take 0 5 like this you substitute into the equation y is equal to minus x plus c so you've got x and y here y is equal to 5 when x is equal to 0 so you've got minus 0 plus c so minus zero that's a zero there so y is equal to c is equal to five so you're going to substitute five there all right so as you can see you're obtaining one and the same thing from different methods uh, or from different points of view so that's it guys um working on uh, graphs uh, as a conclusion from the topic that we had on graphs as we can see you can take a closer look at the parabola and the straight line they work together uh, hand in hand in most cases so we shall meet again guys um, working still on uh, mathematics and two revisions so if you are new you can consider being part of the family by subscribing don't forget guys to share our videos to your friends and colleagues so that they also can have a benefit from this information that we are having from Amazon African Motives till we meet again